really burning up. We've had some pretty bad fires. Uh, Idaho's burning up now. Washington had the worst fires in history. Uh, we have uh, a problem in our forests. A uh, hundred years of mismanagement. Uh, you know, we started, as would be natural, when people settled in an area, they didn't want to have fires. They, so instead of having what we had historically, low intensity, frequent fires, we built up huge fuel loads with climate change. We're seeing insect infestations. Uh, with drought, we're seeing uh, that manifest even more with uh, dead and dying timber. Uh, and a lot of these are trees that wouldn't have been there if, if the small fire regime naturally had occurred. They're growing up into the crowns of the big trees. And when the fire hits, the, those are ladder fuels and you have a crown fire and the forest is incinerated. Uh, these are not natural. A fire was a natural part of the system. This is not natural. Uh, so we need to get ahead of that. We need to do thinning, fuel reduction, forest health, forest restoration. Uh, and, uh, you know, we do have some budgets for the Forest Service and the BLM to do that. But every year, this time of year, I, I have a letter with me. I don't have it now. I just got notified because I'm the senior Democrat on resources by the Forest Service that uh, very shortly uh, they will deplete all their forest fire fighting funds. And that doesn't mean they'll stop fighting fires. They can't. It means they will drain all those other accounts. They'll even go take money out of recreation. They'll take money out of fuel reduction, forest health. All those programs will just pull the money out to fight the fires. Uh, and this has happened year after year after year. It's like the last five years running. So they need a, uh, we need a better system. And we have the rarest of rare things in Washington, D.C a bicameral, bipartisan bill supported by the President of the United States to fix this. Uh, there are 104 of us in the House, 52 Republicans, 52 Democrats on this bill. I don't know how many are on in the Senate, but it's the same thing. Democrats and Republicans, and the President put it in his budget uh, and spoke about it uh, a couple of times. He supports it. And we would do this. We would have uh, more robust budgets for fuel reduction, forest health. Uh, we would have an adequate budget for fighting fires. Uh, but with one proviso. One percent of the fires are 30 percent of the cost. They are catastrophic, gigantic fires like the one outside Yellowstone last year, probably the one in Washington State earlier this year. I don't know what that one cost. Fires that cost $300 million for one fire. Uh, and we would say that anything of that magnitude would not come out of the Forest Service or BLM budget. It would be declared a national emergency just like a tornado, a tsunami, an earthquake a hurricane, whatever, and they would come out of the Federal Emergency Management Agency budget. Uh, unfortunately, there's one very prominent member of the House of Representatives uh, who opposed this. He actually sent out around a letter to everybody saying he opposed it, uh, and that's Paul Ryan, and he unfortunately carries a disproportionate amount of clout in the Republican conference, and he has blocked it. I've asked, I'm on the Committee of Jurisdiction, I've asked the Chairman, Doc Hastings, can we hold a hearing? No. You know, can't, you know, and then the fires are burning in his district. They said, Doc, can we hold the hearing now? Worst fires in the history of your state. No, nope, above my pay grade. Uh, so we're trying to force a vote. Uh, it's a very unusual procedure. Uh, but if you get 218 people to sign a petition, a bill, any bill, is sent directly to the floor. They can't block it, and you have to have an up or down vote. Uh, we now have 196, I believe. Yes, 196 people have signed that petition. Uh, unfortunately, it's partisan at this point. Uh, there are 52 Republicans who sponsored the bill. Uh, we only need uh, 22 of them to sign the petition. They haven't yet signed it. I just looked uh, at some fires, and I can, I can see more than two dozen who have major fires that have burned in their district or are burning in their districts. Uh, so I'm hopeful when we go back, they'll be willing to sign the petition, push the bill through, and get one last thing done so maybe Congress can do three good things in two years as opposed to just two. <laughs>